there will be interaction these are ci i am ahmedabad nascom then uh, okay the names also in ci i am ahmedabad mr kunal is there nascom mr sanjeev malhotra intellect design mr arun jain nascom of course they are me oh madam is also here yeah but he is there uh, i mean uh, on the podium and uh, uh stpi mr devesh tyagi is there no yes sir oh he's not here <laughs> okay then no i was given the impression everyone will be there except secretary <laughs> then uh, maker village mr b prasad nayar iit kanpur sujay roy ghosh entrepreneurship park mr sanjeev chopra and cdac mr mahesh kulkarni and mr Let arun jain is there from yeah from that i have already said it's like yeah. design mr yeah. arun jain all the stpi are connected and uh, many startups are connected total locations are 217 so i'll request secretary to kindly initiate the interaction so let's just give a briefing you can sir. i, I think okay. gopal you can yes start Uh, I take pleasure again in welcoming all of you for this meeting. Just to set the tone for this meeting, uh, Mighty has over the years, in various formats, been uh, involved in engaging with startups and promoting incubation. We have been associated with various educational institutions, industry industry associations like NASCOM. and over the past few months uh, it has been the wish of our secretary and all of us also noticed that there is a lot to be gained in terms of synergy among similar efforts purely almost entirely under the mighty umbrella not to mention the dst and dipp and so many other ventures so to set this off in process we are in the process of setting up and today we'll have a soft launch of what we call the mighty startup hub now i will just run through the portal which we have created that will give a feel of what is there and then we can then carry forward about how it goes through sir so i think on the on your screens and joining the meeting today are startups from institutions and also incubators sir so this will be just the feel of the mighty startup hub one of the immediate things which it can do is we are having we had a scheme called the tide 1.0 technology incubation and development of entrepreneurs now we are going to have tide 2.0 now we would like all the participants here to take note of this and any center which wants to join as an incubation center should apply at this point so this is just the first immediate use but in the long run if you see there's going to be a whole lot of uh, 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 this will work this is not moving there's going to be a whole lot of uh, 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 synergies which we gain no this this most part or what was some taken to the i mean which can serve as a most part so if you see uh, uh, we need to know about who are all here like if you just go to this we have something called a startup wall we also have something like a startup corner so i mean a, a list of uh, it's it'll serve like a knowledge portal about who are all the people engaged in this startup so we've just started populating it so we would okay. think this wall will be populated with hundreds of startups who are there in the mighty ecosystem and uh, we have something called the uh, startup wall these are all the tight centers if you could see all these links will take you to those respective centers we have uh, in iits in iims in all prominent institutions there are about 27 institutions forgive me for the mouse here it's it's not going down but uh, similarly you have a lot of stuff for startup promotion done by mighty we have a coe on ip so any startup which needs sort of assistance to file international patents we reimburse the money on their efforts to secure patents all that knowledge is there in that link which is coming down similarly you also have the software products policy etc yeah. see the broad and short of this is this portal will serve as a point of visibility for anybody who is associated in the startup ecosystem as a startup as a incubator as a mentor as a vc as a procurement guy somebody looking for buying something from startups etc so i would now request our secretary to sort of launch this portal i would also request the startups incubators etc to take the message forward so that they could the startup 
hub or this portal can become as rich or as useful as the network it belongs to participation so if if there are any issues about the portal or any ideas and suggestions of how we can improve this or how we can make this more useful in the contact us portion we have given details of uh, how you could reach us and please give us those ideas so as it is new incubation centers wanting to be on tight to can register and anybody else who is in the ecosystem can also register and start posting right away the last date for application for the tight to centers is 15 june so first tranche first tranche so that's also even those things are there on the portal so i would request everybody to take note of this and help us develop this as a single platform which gets everybody together and we can benefit from the synergies involved so with this i would request secretary to launch the portal and start off the proceedings okay so can i take one minute sir sorry you you take it no we will only it's we are in the vc mode only anymore Now we should see the other the other ends also. No, no, now over. Now we can see the other ends. No more presentation. Yeah? So, uh, a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I think we are very upbeat about uh, what the Tide Two brings to us and what the Mighty Startup Hub uh, uh, brings to us. In Tide One scheme, we had twenty-seven uh, locations, yes. twenty-seven centers, and uh, we have very good learnings from uh, many of them. Thereafter, we have been, uh, uh, you know, setting up uh, centers. There are uh, three centers which have been set up with, uh, in partnership with NASCOM. Another fourth one will come up soon. Similarly, uh, STPI has been making an effort to rope in the uh, state governments and uh, uh, key partners from the industry with a focus on specific uh, uh, sets of technologies. Uh, to set up uh, new centers of excellence, uh, for instance, the center uh, in uh, uh, the financial uh, fintech, uh, uh, financial technologies in Chennai, uh, something in AR and VR in uh, Bhubaneswar, uh, ESDM in uh, uh, Bangalore, and then uh, Bhubaneswar, automotive electronics in Pune. Uh, we also expect uh, uh, this year that uh, we will be adding. Uh, uh, some centers on uh, uh, cyber security and uh, some centers that focus on language technologies. Uh, a number of other centers that focus on uh, IoT in um, uh, applied to different uh, areas. Uh, so it's, uh, it's very useful to bring all of them together into one uh, family. In uh, while we are uh, looking at setting up a particular center or a, a set of centers, say with uh, uh, NESCOM, we find uh, excellent industry partners and mentors who are uh, willing to uh, you know, contribute uh, with their technologies, with the uh, mentorship, with uh, sometimes training uh, the, uh, the startups and also connecting them to markets. Uh, in some place, uh, Qualcomm may be involved in another place. Intel uh, brings in uh, uh, support. Uh, in, uh, we have 
uh, intellect design, uh, Mr. Arun Jain actually uh, guiding the effort in the for the fintech uh, uh, center in Chennai. Uh, similarly, Mr. Subroto Bakchi is contributing significantly to uh, setting up and sort of uh, as the chief mentor for <coughs> the AR and VR center in uh, Bhubaneswar. So. Uh, now, if these, uh, you know, the uh, generous offer uh, that is there uh, for us uh, from uh, a company like uh, Intel or Qualcomm uh, remains available only to one of the centers or two of the centers, then we are actually missing the opportunity. And uh, to uh, what I have sensed is that the companies also, when they come forward to support uh, incubation, uh, are quite willing and they are quite happy if uh, uh, some of that support is uh, sort of uh, publicized and made available, made known to uh, uh, startups in other centers as well, so that whenever there is a requirement for that kind of guidance, for that kind of laboratories or facilities or mentorship, uh, they can actually reach out uh, and uh, uh, request for that. Uh, also putting all the uh, incubation centers under one umbrella uh, can actually uh, you know, create a, a set of, uh, a bit of entitlement in the sense that if a, a person, if a company that is getting incubated in Patna and is ready with some products needs uh, some, needs to be in Pune for some time to actually further refine uh, uh, their uh, product or offering or to uh, testing or certification or Prototyping. getting connected to a new market or uh, taking advice. Uh, over a period of time, uh, we should be able to uh, enable them to see where, uh, what, what kind of facility is available and book a particular, uh, book a few seats there and say, okay, from this time to this time, I'll be. Uh, I would like to uh, be there. So it becomes a family of uh, uh, potentially. I, I would say by end of this year, we should aim for about uh, uh, overall about fifty centers to be a part of this uh, uh, extended uh, uh, family uh, incubation family. And uh, all of this uh, would get coordinated uh, uh, by the mighty startup hub. We'll have a, a, a PMU uh, located here. We are looking for a CEO. Also. We are also looking for a CEO at this for moment the yes. for the uh, startup hub. Uh, whenever okay. there are, there is one more thing which um, uh, which uh, becomes uh, possible. Uh, we get a number of delegations from foreign countries. Uh, uh, sometimes at the political level, sometimes at the industry level. And uh, many of them also show very uh, keen interest in uh, uh, knowing about startups, knowing about, uh, know startups here. Also, many of them offer a soft landing for our startups to go there. Yeah. And they want uh, reciprocal soft landing for their startups to come and explore the opportunities uh, uh, here. So uh, that again uh, is something, another layer of uh, relationships that we will also bring into this uh, uh, mighty startup hub. Yes. So these are the initial thoughts. Major companies, uh, of course, have already mentioned, but uh, we also invite uh, uh, major companies. I think there's no Anybody large technology company anywhere in the world which doesn't today have a presence and yes. mostly presence in... Uh, R&D or uh, product development uh, based in India and with ex exceptional uh, you know, expertise and uh, the kind of experience base and technology base and the tools that they have actually adds tremendous value to us. Many of them are also offering to uh, join in, not just uh, with a relationship uh, for a particular uh, center of excellence or incubation center, but for the entire family uh, covered by the mighty startup hub. Okay. So these are the thoughts which have uh, uh, pushed us to attempt this kind of a portal. The portal initially was, is a, uh, a sort of a bare, bare bones kind of a portal, but it, we can develop it into a very rich offering uh, with your suggestions and, uh, uh, okay. and with your participation.
So, thanks a lot and thanks uh, Devjani for also being here. Such so, a I think, as sir said, anybody with a problem will find something on the portal. He can place a problem and anybody who thinks he has a solution will also find an audience in the portal. So I would request uh, Madam Devjani to talk to the audience. Sure. First of all, thank you so much. This is a surprise. <laughs> I happen to be at the right place at the right time, and it's such a pleasure to come for this. Uh, I'll keep it very short. I just two points I want to make. One is, uh, if you if there's one message that the success of China that's the biggest takeaway from the success of China is their ability to absolutely leverage a connected ecosystem the power of that ecosystem. What China does better than anyone else is unleash that ecosystem, getting everyone from government to industry, big, small, to work together. Um, I remember just a few months back when we were launching the COE in Gurgaon, we had talked about this. So we had talked about the best thing that government can do for startups is to connect to that ecosystem, build the ecosystem, and actually connect them to that ecosystem. In a few months, it's seriously, um, for me, it's a matter of pride to just sit here and see this a reality. I think it's a fantastic initiative. It's the best thing that the government can do. And, and frankly, um, speaking on behalf of the industry, I think... The, the work that Mighty is doing now is, is really bringing the industry together like it has never done. Uh, whether you're a big company, whether you're a product company, hardware company, international company, Indian company, but everyone is coming together to join hands and, and join that common cause towards that trillion dollar digital economy. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Congratulations again. And from NASCOM, you'll have our full support, not just to spread the word, but to take this to startups. And, and we should open it up even to domain companies. Yes. You know, yeah, sure. yes, yes, yes. Yes. we it's want open. the hospitals, we Anybody want the banks, absolutely. everyone absolutely. to come and participate. So yes. fantastic. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank I you. think everybody can start registering. Yeah. So <laughs> now we'll talk to the participants in the meeting. Uh, we've had a huge list. I think the number right now is more than uh, 300 locations wow. which are connected. 260. 260 locations which are connected. Uh, we would uh, like to keep it short. We would uh, start off. We have also planning to talk to startups. We also start to uh, have some incubators talking. Uh, we would uh, kick off with uh, first uh, Mr. Arundhyan, if you could join. We could like to hear you, your views and suggestions and ideas on how to take this forward, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for providing me the opportunity to speak to so many locations. And I think uh, Meti has done a phenomenal job in connecting the dots. I call in design thinking, which is a critical piece for uh, Silicon Valley, which goes design thinking as a critical piece, is around celebrate, connect, and catalyze. There are three Cs required. You celebrate what is good happening anywhere in the world, any good company is doing, and then you connect them and then catalyze them. So these three roles, which is provided by METI, is applying the design thinking principle in actual life. Uh, in FinTech, uh, I've, I've been interested with the FinTech responsibility of setting up the center. So we had multiple meetings till now happen over the past. We named our COE uh, as FinBlue. So I'm happy to announce that yesterday meeting, we finalized the name of the FinTech COE as a FinBlue. And that is the name of it. And we'll be doing national uh, event sometime in October, November, which is called FinTrack, which will be the national conference on FinTech uh, at a national level and including international level, we can bring in in that area. We have six uh, blocks in which we need to build up this ecosystem. What uh, Devyani also highlighted is about understanding the buyer's need. Public sector bank is the biggest buyer of fintech in India, and they need a technology desperately, which is the first block. We need to bring a fintech from international places. We need a funding framework. We need a benchmarking of the product so that bank policies can be changed. So that we need a, some, some sort of a, a fintech product to be rated by some agency and METI can play a critical role in rating the product on, against security, against uh, UI, or against performance, so that uh, the minimum revenue criteria for buying in government sector can be removed, and it could be rated based on the rating of the software product, not by the revenue of the company, because startup will never be able to catch a 500 crore revenue of intellect or anybody, so that they will never be qualified for the purchases. 
set up. And for that, we need a benchmarking. Industry has to provide a benchmarking team, which can do that kind of a job. And finally, the mentoring and training framework. So there are six blocks under which we need to build up an ecosystem. And that uh, will be quite useful right now when so many companies are there, and so many senior people are there. We can create benchmarking panel of experts. We can create a policy panel of experts who can reframe the policies which is required for the startup to take off. So I'll not take more time than this. Wishing you all the best, uh, the Métis team sitting in Delhi, and love to work with all of you. Thank you. Do you want the response? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, and my apologies. I was not able to, day before yesterday, I was not able to make it uh, to your place uh, because uh, there are too many things and they mm. have to be very far away. But and thanks for uh, joining in today and providing leadership uh, to the uh, Fin Blue. And uh, over the past uh, one and a half years, I have uh, had a very good interaction with the um, fintech uh, companies, and I have seen amazing ideas, amazing innovation uh, happening. And it's it's been happening not just in the major cities; it's actually been happening in the uh, in small towns and uh, you know suddenly wherever wherever people see some problem they they step out and uh, find some solutions it will be wonderful to have a center that can actually uh, you know capture uh, that uh, where which they can turn to when they uh, even for innovation that happens elsewhere when they need further guidance when they need further connections uh, having a, a, such a organized center in uh, uh, for fintech uh, makes tremendous sense. So it'll add amazing value. Uh, fintech, I think, is going to be one of the uh, real solid success stories uh, uh, moving forward, especially when uh, uh, the um, uh, flow-based uh, lending uh, uh, takes off uh, uh, on top of you know whatever platforms, UPI and other platforms that are already there. So, uh, thanks a lot. I think we'll move yes, to the... Uh, Thank next. you, sir. Now, the net takeoff is, so far, he has been associated probably only with the Chennai Fintech Center. Now, with this platform, all the other incubators will be accessing him for support and guidance. Yes, and yes, yes, also absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Similarly, in the Tide program, we've been working with the institutions. So, we will now request uh, Surajoy Ghosh to join us from IIT Kanpur and uh, tell us about how they can engage with uh, the whole ecosystem on startups. IIT Kanpur, please. Sir, please unmute yourself and uh, start the uh, conversation, so please. IIT Kanpur. Yes, hi. Uh, we'd like to appreciate, uh, we think this is a tremendous uh, achievement for us as a nation to have Meeti uh, bring up the startup hub. Uh, we have been a TBI and probably this nation is one of the first TBIs. Uh, and we think that this step will take us a long way uh, in making this nation uh, a nation and a hub of startups uh, that the world would look up, look up to. So that is a really commendable job uh, in connecting the dots uh, that, that you know uh, we've all been talking about. There's one thing that we'd like to also focus upon that you know uh, while we continue to grow ourselves as an ecosystem and we keep on uh, you know harnessing. Uh, whatever synergies that we have within our own, uh, you know, within our own uh, separate dots that we're talking about. It will also be important that we have an efficient mechanism that goes deeper in uh, taking, you know, this whole message to uh, the length and breadth of the nation. Uh, so that, you know, anybody who's thinking of startups, whether it's tech startups or fintech, uh, you know, they, uh, they look up to us, they look up to the startup hub. Uh, and that's the thought that we'd like to end with. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Please unmute you. Sir, mute yourself, sir, please. Uh, one of the early initiatives has been the Electropreneur Park and the Maker Village, etc. in terms of electronics hardware. Uh, we want to get the message across that we are interested in promoting startups in hard tech, deep tech, IT, all sorts of Thank applications. Tech. So we can uh, now uh, uh, talk to Sanjeev Chopra at Electropreneur Park to tell us his ideas on this. Mute, sir. Uh, you're on mute, sir. 
Please unmute yourself, sir. Sanjeev, sir. Huh. Yeah, good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for this opportunity um, to interact uh, uh, with uh, you know, all the dignitaries and the forum. So, uh, as you already mentioned, Electropreneur Park, we have been focusing on the electronic system and design manufacturing, and um, we have been in operation for about three years now. And so, my uh, uh, my suggestion on this uh, uh, initiative is that you know there are a lot of action happening at each incubation center. For example, we are conducting very specialized training, you know, for the startups here. So since this forum is now available, so we will also like to invite you know, participation from the other centers also, because we are already spending the time and energies in these activities. So why not the other startups from the ecosystem should be able to benefit out of that. Similarly, you know, in case there are any, um, you know, for example, I have to call some investors for a demo day at my center. So if an investor is coming to my center, probably we can, uh, I give them four or five good startups for investment. But in case we can have a system where we could also, you know, create these kind of video conferences and we have some participation from other centers, I think we can then really, you know, uh, make use of even those uh, uh, activities also very well. I think this is all for now. And I'll, of course, keep on uh, sharing my inputs uh, uh, with my team. Thank you. Like one of the main features in the portal is events because we know there's a huge number of institutions and things are happening. So I would request all the institutions to keep posting at that particular yeah, corner about what are the events you're conducting, whether it's a training or a demo day or whatever, so that you could reach the right visibility to the right audience. So next we could uh, move on to Bangalore and ask Sanjeev to talk about how we can take this forward. Sure, sir. Um, no, thank you very much and congratulations. Um, I had a privilege of uh, uh, leading the first uh, COE that we started in Bangalore as a partnership between NASCOM and Medi. Uh, we started, you know, it's been a long journey from where we started till now. And, uh, you know, I feel proud of having created an ecosystem where we have uh, uh, active participation from the industry, uh, from the academia and uh, the startups, of course. So this has become a one of sort of a vibrant, uh, you know, hub for the startups, and we have some of them here with me. Uh, maybe Puneet, you want to add a quick word on on what you have experienced here? I think this is the first uh, opportunity we are getting to interact with uh, people at uh, Mighty. So uh, since we have been, you know, a recipient of this benefit and the infrastructure that you have created, uh, you know, we would like to. But thank you and appreciate what you are doing to actually provide the infrastructure uh, to the industry and to the startup community in specific uh, to uh, you know actually uh, you know translate our, our ideas into a working company uh, and uh, I think you are taking the next uh, few steps which is I think uh, which is a sign of great progress I think from, from the startup community uh, uh, you know one request that I would like to put forward is, we thrive on two things uh, to become successful. One is capital and second is, you know, customers. So uh, any help that we can get as part of this ecosystem to tap into uh, specifically, you know, the, the government organizations and ministries uh, in terms of showcasing what we are creating and whether that is of interest to uh, uh, them would be helpful because on our own, uh, going through the normal procurement process that they have, it almost becomes impossible for us to be able to compete, uh, you know, with others and, and win. So anything that can help us showcase what we are creating, which is of interest, uh, would be really helpful. Yeah, uh, I think we will also try to bring uh, state governments in to participate. State governments are yes. already helping us set up uh, many of the centers. They are bringing in uh, money. They are uh, bringing their departments in to participate. Apart from that, in the recent period, um, GEM has emerged as an ex extremely important uh, procurement platform for all the governments. And uh, we have been working with uh, uh, Mrs. Radha Chauhan, CEO of uh, GEM, uh, to create a, a special window for uh, products and services that come from our uh, startups and young companies. So uh, even, the, even products that do not have uh, competition, sometimes any 
a unique product or something which is absolutely innovative doesn't even have competition and uh, typically government would not go and buy anything where uh, you know uh, which is a sole sourcing kind of uh, situation uh, but through this um, uh, special window we will try to create a uh, uh, possibility for uh, uh, limited uh, value orders to be placed uh, even for products of uh, uh, small companies and startups uh, so which can then provide them a test bed which can provide them a reference location and uh, which uh, you know builds up a case for uh, procurement in future so uh, that's something that will become available also uh, uh, through the uh, to the entire family connected to the uh, mighty startup hub just the last thing we are focusing now on developing this you know domain expertise and taking technology into certain domains as defined by nascom you know we have uh, picked up three areas uh, or three domains that we are we are developing a deep ecosystem one is healthcare second is manufacturing and third is agriculture so just to add to that point so that's it from my side excellent sir now we've heard from i think uh, you want to add something go ahead sir yeah so uh, the only observation i have is uh, what we lack right now is some kind of incentivization for organizations to use the products built by startup yeah. really uh, you know encourage them to use or even source more products developed by startup yeah. so many startups who have potential and the product which are good it's just that uh, you know since there are too many gatekeepers it kind of becomes difficult as the gentleman mentioned here to get to the right people to pitch in our product on that Yeah, I think uh, that's what the secretary just mentioned. See, you may have a fantastic solution. Some department wants to procure, some smart city wants to procure, but the visibility wasn't there and access. You have gatekeepers. Now this platform will be a clear way where you will be seen visible, and then we will try to use the gem to help you to reach them. Now, uh, having heard from say industry, academia, and also institutions, I think we should also get the startup perspective on this. I would like to invite uh, Maker Village, and particularly if Prasad is there, fine. Or otherwise, any other startups there to tell us what do you expect this portal or this effort to come to your use, sir. I'm Prasad here. Um, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, I'm excited uh, about this portal, and not only me. Uh, all our startups are here. Around 35 senior startups from uh, Maker Village is here. all of them are excited about this thing that that it's a, this the gathering itself shows that uh, there are two reasons why we are uh, very much excited about this meti initiative meti is we are also supported by meti so when meti makes such a big move we are we are truly delighted to be part of it uh, why we are excited because uh, two reasons we are from a tier 2 city kochi so uh, to get these resources the right kind of technology resources the right kind of uh, uh, sourcing uh, and other support systems to get to this tier 2 city which is again at the far end of uh, uh, the country is very difficult so uh, getting all these resources on a single platform all the key stakeholders on a single platform is uh, nothing but excellent for uh, the startup ecosystem to build a startup ecosystem in in kochi kerala He is uh, is not it's not like building a startup ecosystem in Bangalore or Pune or, or any other big cities. It it is a totally different ball game altogether. But this will enable us to get access to all the resources wherever it is available. Maybe in Pune, Hyderabad, uh, Bangalore, or Delhi. Uh, we will also get access to uh, all these resources, and we will also get ourselves visible to all the uh, possible potential VCs. Uh, Uh, customers and so on and so forth so this is a truly uh, perfect uh, opportunity for people uh, the startups who are coming from tier 2 cities of in the country that is one thing second thing is we have reached a stage wherein uh, some of uh, 29 of our startups are in the productization stage all of them are assembled here so uh, when we start incubating uh doing prototyping and when we reach the productization the maximum support is required so we we have got uh, 29 senior matured startups who are about to reach the market so this is the right point of time wherein this kinds of support system will be 
beneficial for all of us. So that is one of the reasons by just by informing all these startups are assembled here today for uh, getting uh, the real picture about this portal and the exciting opportunities this portal and this METI initiative is going to offer to them. Some of them, I think, have got a couple of questions with if time permits, uh, they will uh, be uh, happy to uh, explore. Yeah, can you ask any startup to add the add to the conversation, sir? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, actually, uh, thanks for the opportunity to engage with uh, uh, Mitty from a tier two city. Uh, you are getting, uh, you are giving a lot of support for us to grow uh, in tier two city. So, uh, so my. Uh, uh, why are uh, the need for a tier two cities like when we do uh, we are basically on electronics product development companies so when we do for the validation and testing we have to associate with a lot of labs uh, outside uh, bangalore or chennai or pune also or delhi so do do we can we make a collaboration with uh, that kind of a lab facility like uh, ul or tuv or icat ari like that so that will give you that will give you more uh, currently we, uh, you are supporting for ip uh, applying all that kind of a schemes similar way for the lab test can you able to give some kind of a scheme for a startups so it will give you more uh, uh, financial support yes Ms. So, yeah, in my uh, very recently we also visited uh, UL here in Gurgaon and saw their uh, a number of labs. Uh, ICAT, ICAT uh, works especially around the automobile uh, uh, components and uh, you know the automobile industry, uh, but they are also diversifying into uh, testing and certification on various uh, various areas of uh, uh, electronics, uh, solar uh, energy, and other areas. Uh, we so I have uh, also visited some of the uh, incubation centers uh, like the uh, Electropreneur Park in the uh, recent period. Last week, I think I was there, and uh, uh, the need uh, has been expressed both for uh, uh, rapid uh, prototyping. Sometimes the electronics entities, makers, maker village, of course, is very well endowed in terms of. Uh, uh, you know, uh, being able to uh, create the prototypes uh, rapidly. Uh, uh, some of the other centers are uh, not so uh, well endowed, but now with the, uh, you know, uh, relationship across the centers, uh, we can um, uh, bring in those missing elements. And on certification and uh, testing and certification, uh, I think we will evolve something because this is a felt need uh, which is getting expressed. Uh, across the device uh, ecosystem, Forest. and uh, Forest. as we Forest. move forward, uh, the device ecosystem is going to be extremely important. It's no longer just uh, pure play software. Uh, in many places, it's it's an interplay between um, uh, hardware, but the software component is uh, increasing. So, uh, which is good news for us, but. Getting the hardware piece right, getting the electronics right is going to be very important. So both uh, categories of startups and the yes. uh, integration, uh, uh, I think, will get represented uh, yeah. so, uh, through this. Hub. Yeah, I think what I would have to respond is that all the testing facilities, I'm telling you, honestly, there's still not clear stock of who is where and what available, what is available and where. Like last week, we discovered and a wealth of get, facility in ICAT. No, we should also uh, use that uh, aggregation to get the yes. best uh, deals yes. from them yes. and get them to come in as mentors and uh, you know uh, partners in the process. So we would request yeah. you to give us feedback on all such facilities. We will pursue them and ensure that they are on the portal, be it private or public. We will get their visibility <clears throat> on this portal. Sir. Not just on the portal, but also bring in, uh, uh, you know, uh, a special kind of a dispensation for uh, startup, uh, startup uh, products. Yes. And we'll also see whether we can uh, contribute in some form. Yeah. Yes. I mean, with respect to centers under my team, <coughs> we are already working on a deal where uh, startups can get a better deal, but it will be across the board. Sir. Yeah. 
Yeah, it will be across the board to all the uh, startups incubated in this uh, entire system. Absolutely. Also, now that we actually have, we've never had one portal for to bring together the, this is the first. So now that we have this, one of the things we could look at is whatever portion of it can be done through via virtual labs. Mm-hmm. We can actually start building those on this portal for startups. Absolutely. Especially with Absolutely. respect to testing. Oh, yeah. And that's something, anyway, Amit is working on. So we connect, sure. he was working on for something else, but we it's connect. Yeah. And uh, yes, I think basically, basically, anything else, sir, please. Yeah, basically on an electronics product development for, uh, we are actually working on automotive segment. So uh, we are approaching ARI or ICAT. So that's the costing it is, it is very higher level for us, like a startup perspective. For example, if you go for EMI, EMC, vibration test, all the things, it's a package is coming around five to six lakhs for a single product. Uh, so if, if you can work out a different tariff for a startup, it will give the validation. We will definitely request for a differential tariff and I'm reasonably confident we've had good discussion with the ICAT so they are team. Excited. They are getting a huge startup event and a tech event called Nugen for which they have asked us to get all the startups for the event. Uh-huh. And, and for the STQC's, STQC labs, we will in any case extend a very favorable uh, treatment to uh, whatever needs startups. to be done yeah. for mighty startups. We'll just go to one more location, sir. Yeah. I think uh, Rasad made a very interesting point about how difficult it is to incubate in a tier 2 city. So now we'll move on to Sign Mumbai, where they've already been working on virtual centers. You are an incubation center. But your startups need not be in that premise. You could be the country. They've already uh, been uh, as incubator for uh, many virtual startups, and they will be involved in similar exercise in Tier Two also. Sign yes, to talk about how do you incubate virtual startups and how we can use this platform. Yeah. yeah. Good afternoon to everybody out there, and we thank Mehdi for all all their support and bringing out this fantastic initiative. It has actually made the ecosystem across the country seamless. So we can reach out to any corner of the country with this kind of an arrangement and initiative which Meti is driving now. Now coming to the question about how we went about supporting virtual incubation is, uh, of course, with the help of the Meti grant, which we have received, to support virtual incubation. Uh, we did the call of applications and we got uh, uh, sub- applicants from various parts of the country. And uh, we do a, a proper due diligence and screening of those applications uh, just to see they fit into the scheme of the uh, initiative of uh, virtual incubation. And at the same time, to see how they align with our own objectives of sign when we are supporting startups for incubation purposes. And this has actually helped us uh, to put in place a process for supporting such kind of startups. Basically, what we found over the uh, years while supporting startups is that they need a good mentoring system. And connecting the startups to appropriate mentors and at right time, uh, connecting them to the investor community and also disseminating various information of the kind of support system the government is trying to put in place to various uh, initiatives from various departments, putting all these factors together. And the kind of uh, system we ourselves have put in place, we bring all these together and try to support the startups right from um, how they should think when they come across with their idea and how they need to understand that it's not just technology development, there is the business aspect that they have to really think hard through. We actually play the devil's advocate when they come to us and uh, when they are talking to us. And we try and tell them that they need to do a lot of market level validation whenever they're working on an idea. And then when when they are sort of ready, we have a screening system, which we do. Uh, We do an internal review system, and then we have an external review system. And uh, we put them across to experts from the domain. And if we have expertise, because fortunately we being in IIT Bombay, we have the ecosystem, the IIT Institute ecosystem, if we need any kind of technology level validation. And at the same time, uh, 
because of the network having been one of the older incubator, we do have a list of mentors and experts with us. We try and put these startups across to them. Now, coming to the point that they need not be really in proximity to you, although that would be an advantage because if they are close by, they can just walk in at any time and talk about the problems they are facing and we try to address them. But with the technology that is in place, we try to leverage that. And we get the startups to interact with us, maybe through a phone call or a telephone. And then we try and connect them to the mentors. Basically, mentoring may, may plays a major role in this aspect and helping them with the right kind of support system, right amount of funding at different stages by leveraging the various teams that we are provided with as incubators. We try and help the startups and see how they can unfold uh, their uh, business plan and actualize what they want to achieve through their venture. This is how we try to prevent it. And we also uh, try to connect them to manufacturing facilities through a network because basically what happens is like they do have a lot of difficulty getting access to manufacturing facilities. You will write a design level thinking and planning their product even before they start manufacturing. Then it, uh, when it comes to healthcare kind of startups, they need a good amount of understanding, uh, be it at the clinical level validation, regulatory systems, we try to leverage what we have at IIT Bombay because IIT Bombay has certain uh, centers which are working on pure R&D connected to healthcare sector. So they are connected to hospitals and various doctors are on their panel. So we try and connect the startups to them also. So they do understand what are the use cases, what are the problem statements they have to uh, look at and how they can uh, align their own ideas and uh, startup that they are, uh, want to set up to the problem statements that the community is facing. So this kind of enabling and facilitating factor which we try to play. So this is how we have been able to sustain and uh, you know, uh, support virtual kind of innovation. Wonderful. I think that would be a good lesson for us. And uh, uh, we would also like to acknowledge and thank CDAC Pune because I think all of us are thankful to Mahesh and his team at CDAC Pune who have designed this portal. And now they get the greater responsibility of maintaining it and bringing it up to it. So I'm sure CDAC will rise to the occasion and ensure that there are no complaints about the portal. Anything to add on the portal, Mahesh? Last thank you. So you have to unmute yourself. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank you for providing us this opportunity to be part of this particular initiative. I think uh, this is a very basic version of the portal, what you are seeing right now at this moment of time. But in due course of time, whatever inputs we have received so far, even today we have received a lot of good inputs from the people, uh, especially from the startups and having a full ecosystem to be built around this especially the lab portions which came out very prominently i think that is a very important uh, aspect wherein we require to have a lab databases as well as create some virtual uh, arrangements in regards with uh, providing the supports to the tier to uh, what is called the startups uh, uh, one more important thing is that uh, i think uh, 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 this is a very uh, good initiative in terms of uh, having all the stakeholders at one place uh, especially we are planning to have uh, uh, some glimpses are there already on the portal in terms of having uh, something called a startup corner or uh, we can talk it about as a startup wall. So wherever whatever new things are happening on to the startup side, they can definitely post it basically and they can basically reach out to the people uh, in no time. And I think over a period of time, you will see a lot of features coming onto the portal in real sense. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, sir. So I think you. with your permission, uh, we can bring this meeting to a close. We are very much thankful to see that. We are particularly thankful to STPI because they are partners in many of the COEs, which uh, when they are on the way to develop many more incubators, yes. industry associations, particularly NASCOM, IESR, and a lot of other associations, individual uh, mentors like Arun Jain, Subrata Bakshi, and a lot of other leading lights who want to associate with the startup movement and also all the academic institutions like the IIT, Mumbai, IIMs, IIT Kanpur, the full uh, lot of them. And last but not the least, all the startups mm -hmm. who have taken the effort, I think the number is, I think 300, uh, 
persons who are joining this conversation will definitely carry this forward and we would also like to close by thanking the ceo ndgd for this uh, facility and for gracing this <coughs> event and our secretary for giving us the idea to go ahead with this and uh, helping us all the way along thank you thank you thank you, thank you. thank you. thank you.